Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the four sums that you can see right now in front of you. These four sums were part of a set of additional practice sums that I had given to my students of online Abacus course who are currently doing stage two. Okay, they're in the stage two of the Abacus course. So these uh, four problems are where some of the students were facing some difficulty. So I'm explaining these sums in this video. And I'm keeping this video available to everyone so that uh, all students who are currently doing stage two can benefit from this. Okay, so please have a careful look. Uh, the students, would, I would recommend that they should observe or understand this these sums carefully from the video and then try it on their own abacus at least a couple of times so that they do gain more confidence in using all these various formulas. Okay, so let's start. Uh, with the first sum. The first sum is 72 plus 61 plus 50 plus 83 plus 49. Let's start with 72. The next number is 61. So on the tens place for adding 6, the regular big friend formula for plus 6 is minus 4 plus 10. Since we don't have 4 beats available for subtraction, we have to uh, think of the alternate way of doing minus 4. So the combination formula will be used here. The alternate way of doing minus 4 is plus 1 minus 5. Okay, so plus 1 minus 5 will help us with the minus 4 part and along with minus 4 we will do a plus 10 here to finish the addition of 6 on the tens place. Then the units plus 1 can be added directly to finish 61. The next number is addition of 50 which can be done directly on the tens place. No problem here. Next number is plus 83. So for adding 8 on the tens place, the regular big friend formula can be used which is minus 2 plus 10. And for adding 3 on the units place, small friend formula plus 5 minus 2. And the last number is plus 49. So plus 4 on the tens place can be done using the regular big friend formula which is minus 6 plus 10 and 9 on the units place again with the big friend minus 1 plus 10 okay so the final answer for this particular sum is 315 now let's start with the next one the second sum starts with 76 so we'll take 76 on the abacus then next number is addition of 86 now for adding 8 on the tens place the regular big friend formula which is minus 2 plus 10 then on the units place for adding 6 we'll have to again use the combination formula here because for minus 4 uh, we don't have enough beads okay the regular formula is minus 4 plus 10 but we don't have enough beads here so for minus 4 we'll do plus 1 minus 5 and along with that a plus 10 to finish the addition of 6 on the units place then the next number is addition of 26 so 20 on the tens place can be added directly on the units place also 6 can be added directly Next number is addition of 46. So on the tens place for addition of 4, the regular big friend formula will be used minus 6 plus 10. And on the units place for addition of 6, again, here we'll have to use the combination formula, which is plus 1 minus 5 and a plus 10. Okay, so we have finished addition of 46. Last number is addition of 56. So on the tens place, addition of 5 can be done directly. On the units place for addition of 6, this time we can use the regular big friend formula which is minus 4 plus 10. Okay, so this is the final answer for this sum which is 290, 290. Now let's start with the third sum. Uh, it starts with first number 98. So we'll take 98 on the abacus. Then next number is addition of 87. So on the tens place for adding 8, the regular big friend formula minus 2 plus 10. On the units place for adding 7 also minus 3 plus 10 which is the big friend formula. Next number is addition of 76. So on the tens place addition of 7 can be done using minus 3 plus 10. On the units place for addition of 6 it will be uh, minus 4 plus 10. Again we will have to use the combination formula which is plus 1 minus 5 plus 10. Okay. Next number is addition of 65. So for addition of 65 on the tens place we need to add 6. For which again we will have to use the combination formula which is plus 1 minus 5 plus 10 and on the units place for addition of 5 it can be done directly. And the last number is 54. So on the tens place for addition of 5 it can be done directly. On the units place for addition of 4 uh, we will have to use the big friend formula which is minus 6 plus 10. 
remember for addition of 4 uh, we have used the big friend formula so a few times just now uh, and we have never used the small friend formula in these three sums so far the reason was the small friend could not be used because the upper bid of 5 was already used okay it was not available for addition that's the reason why we were using the big friend formula otherwise for the digits 1 2 3 and 4 we have to always think of using the small friend formula first and if that's not possible that is the upper bid of 5 is not available then we go to the big friend formula okay so this is a point that every student should remember uh, the answer to this third sum is 380, okay, 380. Now let's start with the final sum. Uh, first number is 84, okay, I've taken 84. Next number is addition of 62. So for adding 6 on the tens place, again, we'll have to use the combination formula, which is plus 1, minus 5, plus 10. And on the units place for addition of 2, now you, as you can see, for addition of 2, I can use the small friend formula as the big, uh, upper bid of 5 is available. So plus 5 minus 3 and I have now completed the addition of 62. The next number is 40. For addition of 40 on the tens place for 4, I can use the small friend formula as upper bid of 5 is available. So plus 5 minus 1. So 40 is done. Uh, next number is uh, plus 95 for adding 9 on the tens place minus 1 plus 10 on the units place for addition of 5 I can use minus 5 plus 10. Okay, then last number is 73 for adding 7 on the tens place it will be minus 3 plus 10 and on the units place for addition of 3 directly. So this is the final answer for this sum which is 354. Okay, so I hope you have understood, uh, uh, pro properly understood all these four sums. I would recommend that you watch one sum at a time and then try it on your abacus at least a couple of times. Okay, so then proceed to the next sum. This way, please do practice uh, sums like these. These four are specifically from a set, uh, set of additional practice sums that I shared with my students. Uh, some you can obviously design sums like these on your own and uh, do some extra practice for yourself. Thank you